Well, it's been nearly three weeks since 13-year-old Nicole Lovell disappeared and then was later found dead. The circumstances surrounding the tragedy may have some of you wondering where to begin when it comes to learning about the online sites that your children are all too unfortunately familiar with. WSLS 10's Don Jeffries joins us now in the studio with a place to start. Don? John, the tragedy sparked a lot of questions about internet safety and social media, but it can be a tough, albeit a necessary, conversation to have with your child. That's where Rono Public Libraries hope to help. Libraries are a source for information. The more information people have, the better they can protect themselves. Less than a month after the death of 13-year-old Nicole Lovell and allegations of social media's connection, the Roanoke Public Library System joins forces with state police to bring parents and teens together to talk safety. We know that parents and teens feel vulnerable. We're like, how could that happen? You, know, you hear that all the time. I had no idea that kind of stuff. Library Director Sheila Umberger says the idea behind the first internet and social media safety event next month is to bring parents and kids together so teens can hear from someone other than their parents the potential danger lurking in cyberspace. They're not against each other, not trying to prevent them from quote having fun, or they're actually as a family trying to say these are these are what's this is what's going on. If you're going to use this information or be on the internet, have these tools that you know about to prevent a tragedy. Umberger says the first meeting will cover social media and apps, many of which parents have likely never heard of. Hidden apps, where uh, it's actually an app that that hides. Uh, the information from a parent so it might even it looks like a normal app but underneath it uh, they're able to access things that maybe their parent or their teacher wouldn't think they should be doing teaching parents what to look for how to recognize and how to get a conversation going between parent and child it is a conversation they should be having uh, because you care about each other and you want to be safe the meeting is March 3rd at 6.30 at the main library. Umberger tells me they'll use any questions or concerns raised to guide any future meetings. In the studio, Don Jeffries, WSLS 10.